Hi everyone, Rodrigo here once again for one more Power Query video and today guys I'm gonna show you how to data cleaning on Power Query which means how to reorder, how to rename, how to filter, how to change the data types on Power Query easily, okay? So let's do it together. So guys, first of all, you are seeing my window, my Power Query editor. If you have no idea how to come here, just go to the playlist called Power Query for Beginners here in our YouTube channel and you will see how can I do it because there is a video called Power Query for Beginners. So in that video, you will learn everything about Power Query, okay, from scratch. Then come back here, return to this video and continue from here, okay? Today I'm gonna show you how to data cleaning. So first of all, I have this sample over here, this sample called uh, Shitty One, as you can see here. I will put the name of this as, uh, let me see the name of the table. So I will click in the settings over here check a little bit and okay the name is superstore i'm using the same data set from tableau okay so that tableau provide to us so i'm using the same over here so the name is superstore the name of the this table so i'm just moving a little bit right over here in the name section and i will put super store the name super store all right then guys instantaneously power query just change the name and then i will continue from now okay and then just move a little bit to the right and on this apply the step we can just erase some delete some steps that we don't have to use it right now because i will introduce you how to okay so i will click in this x over here this red x over here also on this promoted reader no this part i can just continue with that so guys from this point we gonna start changing the data type of these four fields okay so category i will click on this abc123 symbol then i will put each which data type i want to work with this field category field okay i will use this text this one then i will move to the next one order date this obviously is a date so i will just click once over here again then put date as my data type again on segment i can click here and then text and finally on sales target i have a number right but not a decimal number a integer number so i will click over here and i will put it wall number okay wall number sales target means wall number that's perfect so data type already fixed it then we can just reorder the columns how can we do it just click in the column that you want to reorder hold in your mice and then move it, or you can move or in to left or right it's up to you i will just move order data as the first field in my data set then category then segment okay i want to use segment before category and then after category finally sales target this is the order that i want to work okay as you can see on the right side i have the name of the steps that i applied okay change the type and then reorder columns that's perfect guys now let me show you how can we delete some columns how can we delete our main filter if you want to consider this a filter of columns you can consider as a filter okay because we just i'm gonna show you how to create this step in order just to redo if you want it you will be able to redo this step okay let's consider that i don't want to work with category anymore just segment okay how can i fix it i will click on category then right button of my mice and as you can see over here we have two options to remove this column not this column but to remove columns in general we have the first one called remove just remove the other one called remove other columns okay there is a huge difference over here guys if you click on remove power query will remove this selected uh, column okay if you click on remove other columns which means that you want to remove the others instead is one okay so in our case i want to use remove other columns and i'm gonna sh i'm gonna show you why okay but if i click it here remove 
other columns just click once the result is not the one that I was expecting all right because category is not the column that I want to keep is the one that I want to delete from my model so how can we fix this trouble when we use remove the other columns we can just move easily to the right side and then click in this uh, settings over here this little symbol that means settings click once over here then this window just appear and then you can work with your fields as a filter of columns okay if I select other date and segment and sales uh, instead category now I can see the results automatically change it all right also if you just once in the future you just consider that oh this is not the right one you can just move him back to here click in the set symbols and then choose another column it's up to you you can do as much as you wanted okay there's no problem to work with on that okay so i will click on okay and why uh did i don't did i not uh delete just with remove option it's because for example, I will do from now, okay? For example, I don't wanna work with segment anymore. I will click with the mice and then remove. When I do it, look to the right side. I have this step called removed columns, but I don't have the settings option over here, which means that I cannot just easily click and select and unselect a column that I want to work, okay? So this removed columns step not work as a filter that's why usually i just select to remove other columns when i want to remove some fields on my data set okay finally guys i'm gonna show you how can we rename our fields in order to finish the cleaning steps okay how can we rename our fields it's easy for example this one it's called order date but i just want to put it date as the name so i will double click over here in the name and then i can just erase or retype or type a new name okay i will just erase order then enter in my keyboard then the rename it column a uh, step applied over here in the right and which means that i already changed the name if i just moving back to the previous step you will see the name just changed okay this is normal this is easy just double click in the name and then rename it okay the, there is no problem in rename even in change type or reorder or remove okay that's all for today thank you so guys that's how power query works in order to data clean your data set so if you like it don't forget to thumbs up don't forget to share this content comment below if you have any concerns or if you have any doubts it would be a pleasure to answer you and see you in the next video bye